Good afternoon, everybody. Video three, physical and chemical changes in matter. When we are done today, you will be able to classify matter as being physically or chemically changed based on our observations and our new vocabulary. So how does matter and energy interact? Energy comes in all sorts of forms, cannot be created or destroyed, right? Same with matter, cannot be created or destroyed but sometimes it can change. And is that change physical or is that change chemical? So that's what we're gonna look at today. In our little pictogram, we see chemical changes, not easily reversed, a new product is formed. There's the key one right here, a new product is formed. What I started with is not what I end with, okay? Um, we can run out of our reactants. Um, we can produce electricity. Physical changes can be easily reversed. No new product. It is what I started out with. So ice melting is a good one. If ice melts, is it still ice? No. But is it still water? Yes. So ice is really just frozen water. Sometimes we think of that as something different, but it's really just water in solid state. So it's really just the same thing. Physical versus chemical change. Matter is always changing. Ice in your drink melts, wood in your fire burns. But a physical change is a change that does not alter the chemical properties. An example, cutting paper or a phase change. Phase change would be, you know, going from a liquid to a gas or a solid to a liquid, that kind of things. If I change in size or shape, if the same material but it in a different form, so I think of like chopping wood, right? I want to make the wood pieces small enough to fit in the stove. It's still wood when I'm done, right? It's just smaller. We cut paper. Same thing. Looks different. But it can go back to its original state. No energy produced as a product. Okay? No energy produced. That energy, if it goes out flying into the, you know, the atmosphere of the surroundings, harnessing that and bringing it back, virtually impossible. So another example here, ice melting into liquid water. The liquid is still water, solid water. I haven't chemically changed anything. So that is a physical change. Chemical changes result in the a composition of the substance is changed. Example, rusting. When the metal oxidizes, when it rusts, it's no longer the metal that we started out with. Properties not the same as the original. Rusty material doesn't conduct electricity as well as good shiny metal, okay? Or energy is produced in the form of light, fire, heat, etc. When that energy goes off, how do I bring it back to put it back in there and reverse that? No real easy way to do that. And this little example here shows you, wood's burning, turns to ashes. Are ashes actually wood? No, they're the remains, right? So it's changed form. It's a chemical change. Here is a really cute little way for you guys to help remember this, right? An example of firewood. These are all chemical changes. So if it fizzes, did the reaction produce bubbles? Was there aroma? Could I smell it? Was there a replacement? Did the reaction replace any of the original substances? temperature did the reaction produce a temperature change did it get hot or cold new substance did the reaction produce a new substance this is do you see what this spells guys farts physis aroma replacement temperature substance if any of those things happening it's a chemical change so here we got to do these ready burning toast is it chemical or is it physical Burning. Chemical. Making ice cubes going from liquid water to solid water. Physical. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys to do the next three on your own. We were going to check those in our notes tomorrow. Okay. So right now, you should be able to differentiate between a physical and a chemical change. 
use descriptions of the changing changes in the matter to determine if a change was chemical or physical. <clears throat> Focus on your verbs in the description. Remember, burning, melting, those are verbs, things are happening. Those verbs are going to help you decide, is it chemical change or is it physical change? See you in class tomorrow, guys.